everyone today we are going to learn about space time symmetries from the module symmetry and conservation laws so what is symmetry first of all symmetry in physics can be described as a transformation that leaves a system fundamentally unchanged after the transformation has been performed it means the system appear unchanged after some operations has been done on it the object is called symmetric under the given operation in quantum mechanics we are concerned with the symmetries which leaves the hamiltonian invariant so so as we have studied uh, in heisenberg picture for of an operator a the equation of motion is da by dt is equal to 1 by i h bracket a comma h plus do a by dot t we have do a by dot equal to 0 if a comma h is equal to 0. That is, it means that an observable, what is an observable? Oh, it's a physical quantity that can be measured, for example, position or momentum. So, uh, from this equation, we can conclude that an observable is a constant of motion if the corresponding operator commutes with the Hamiltonian. Hence, if the Hamiltonian of a system remains unchanged under unitary transformation, then this property is called invariance. Such transformations, those that leaves the Hamiltonian invariant, are called symmetry transformations. If Hamiltonian of a system remains unchanged with time, then this property is called conservation. And a symmetry transformation is characterized by the following properties. Following two properties, the first one property is it preserves the Hermitian character of an operator. That means this ensures that the observables remain observables even after the transformation. Okay, and the second uh, one is it conserves probabilities. This means that the absolute value of the scalar product of a pair of vectors remains invariant under the transformation. So, uh, that means the physical properties uh, remains unchanged even after the transformation. Okay. So, in the next we can learn about space-time symmetries. What is space-time symmetries means? It refers to the symmetries associated with geometrical operations like displacement, rotation, and inversion in space and time. For example, whenever a system is invariant under space transitions, a total linear momentum is conserved. And uh, whenever it is invariant and under rotations, a total angular momentum is also conserved. So, the importance of this geometrical symmetries associated with space and time for physics will be clear if we think of the situation if the symmetries were absent. For example, if we imagine an experiment for measuring the cross section for the scattering of neutrons by protons, uh, it is performed at two laboratories, one at Madras and the other at Delhi. But uh, the expectation, we expect that the results will be seen for the, uh, uh, when done at the two laboratories, the result will be seen, okay. Within experimental errors, the result will be seen. If performed under identical laboratory conditions, is based on perception that the differences in the location and the orientation does not affect the outcome of the experiment. So, even we repeat the experiment more than one time, the result will be also same. So, uh, it is independent of the time, okay. Thus, the reproducibility of an experimental result at different locations or time, which is basic to the philosophy of all experimental sciences and which permits the fund formulation of laws with a universal, universal validity stems from the homogeneity of space and time and the isotropy of space. That means even the most, even the most fundamental laws of physics are themselves symmetrical. They remain the same wherever or whenever you are in the universe. The symmetry of time translation confirms to us that energy cannot be created 
are destroyed for example as the total amount of energy in the universe always remains the same no matter what point in time you are at if nature wasn't governed by symmetry we would be living in a world of chaos where nothing is predictable or repeatable thank you